overwhelmingly when we want to find a radius of convergence, we use the ratio test. I'd say 99 times out of 100. Let's find a radius of convergence. We'll look at the absolute value of the ratio. The absolute value is going to get rid of this negative one to the n minus one term entirely. All that will be left is x to the n plus one over n plus one divided by x to the n over n. Multiply top and bottom of this big fraction by the reciprocal of the denominator. We get n over n plus one times x sub n dot sub x to the power of n plus one over x to the power of n. And here the x is almost entirely cancel. And we are left with this. And now we should take the limit as n approaches infinity of this absolute value. And as n approaches infinity, n over n plus one approaches one. So this limit is the absolute value of x. And the ratio test says, that if this limit is less than one, the series converges. So this power series converges, and in fact, let's strengthen that. It converges absolutely from negative one to one. It diverges when x is greater than one. We don't know what happens at negative one and one themselves, but I'm going to part from the textbook and say that it doesn't really matter in any application that I can think of. There's a reason that convergence of power series is usually expressed simply by giving the radius of convergence and not getting bogged down in the minutia of what happens at two particular points.